What's up YouTube, Robo Rider here. Now on my 22 Lowrider S after trading in my Sportster S. Much different ride. But we're gonna go ahead and ride around today and talk some. As you can hear, it's a much different sound than my Sportster S. Let me close this. Much different sound, um, low and rumbly versus sounding like a sewing machine, like the Sportster S sounded like. But yeah, uh, as you guys saw in my last video, I traded in my Sportster S for this baby right here. Um, this was used with like 400 miles on it. I got it from Seminole Harley in Sanford or Orlando, as some people like to call it. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, there were, there's risers. I believe they're thrashing, um, and the handlebars are upgraded. Hello, bird. <laughs> But yeah, so it had some upgrades, and obviously uh, these cables here are also upgraded. Um, they're ran professionally through the handlebars, so it's a very clean look. Um, so that was already done. There's also a slip-on by Chrome Works. I believe it's with a K. Um, slip-ons that are on here, they sound pretty good. Um, I'll probably upgrade the exhaust to a full exhaust at some point, but I'm still researching on what I should do. Um, in my last video, I was talking about getting forwards on, and these are the forwards. Got them from Amazon. They were half the price of Harley. Worked just as good. This bike is way, way more comfortable now. As you can see my feet where they're positioned much better ride um, definitely enjoy it more the mids I'm sorry I'm six foot five they just weren't happening I was like all crunched up the ride was not comfortable um, a lot of people throw a lot of hate on getting forwards because they're like why would you do that this is a you know a sportier bike you should have mids guys if you look at my rider triangle my legs are almost at 90 degrees. So for me, having forwards is almost like a shorter person having mids. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, I feel more comfortable. I feel like I can control the bike better uh, for sure. What's up Harley bros? That's so cool about motorcycles, or the motorcycle community is uh, the way everyone, it's like you're a brotherhood and you don't even know each other. You know, every every bike I've passed, they, they do the, you know, two fingers down. So it's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so throwing these forwards on here, night and day difference. The forwards I got from Amazon, I will post the link below. Um, there was absolutely no fitment issues. They're actually really nicely made. Uh, they actually came with directions that were in color. Uh, even the packaging of the box was pretty nice. Um, I know I'm going to show some B-roll of, of the actual package and the way everything is uh, put in there. Package really nice. Um, came with color, color photo instructions, very detailed. The only negative I will say is the bolts that come with it to mount onto your bike. I would suggest not using them. Um, they were a weird size Allen head that I didn't even have in my garage. I ended up going to an Ace Hardware and uh, buying, I bought, I believe, four bolts that were uh, they, they felt higher quality um, so I wouldn't suggest using the, the kit bolts that come with it only because the heads are weird and I felt more comfortable 
I bought from from uh, Ace Hardware the, the different bolts and I also got lock nut washers on it and always put Loctite on stuff that is mounted to the frame like that. Um, last thing you want is a bolt coming loose or undone, especially on your passenger pegs. That could be very dangerous while riding. Um, but other than that, like these things are solid. The other cool thing, it's kind of hard to see with the breather here, but trying to peek around. Uh, it comes with a, a different brake uh, like head on the rear brake here. It actually sticks out more and is bigger uh, and rubberized. So I like that. Another concern with forwards is everyone talks about this breather being in the way of your leg. Now, is my leg close to that? Yes. Does my leg hit it? Yes. But when I ride, I'm kind of like bowed out a little more. So it's really not an issue. Um, my foot fits comfortably on that peg and I have plenty of room to grab the actual brake if need be. Uh, a lot of people use your front brakes and engine braking anyway. Um, I like to use both. But as you can see right there, it's, it's not an issue. The breather is really not an issue. So I could upgrade the, the breather here and get something more flat. So it's, you know, out of the way of my leg. But I, it's really not that big of an issue for me. My leg doesn't really ever touch it. Especially if I go on the, um, where I like to put my feet on the pegs, where it's kind of on the, the heel or the balls of my feet, I guess you could call it. Um, I, you know, it's not an issue for me. That's that's what people have said have been issues with putting forwards on these. Not that big of a deal. Um, but me being six foot five, these forwards are essential for this bike for me. Uh, also having the handlebars risen up, and I believe it's pulled back just a little bit. Like my arms are chilling, guys. I mean, totally comfortable. Um, I like it. The one thing I'm probably going to do is everyone flips these upside down. That'll be my next little project. But overall, I love this bike. I like it a heck of a lot more than the Sportster S. The only negatives I could say about this bike versus the Sportster S is obviously the speed. What's up, bro? Obviously the speed um, and the... Uh, the tachometer or, or this instrumentation up here on the Sportster S, it was digital. It had built-in GPS, had all the bike diagnostics, everything. This is your, you know, very stock standard uh, analog slash digital. I mean, you could cycle through and change it to RPMs, mileage trips, all that stuff. But it's definitely not as advanced as the Sportster S one. Um, not a deal breaker for me because I plan on getting a RAM mount phone mount and just having my phone right here with the vibration dampener um, So that's one thing I miss or the second thing I miss uh, the first thing is definitely the speed Maneuverability is way different, but you're talking about two different rides That's more of a sport bike. This is more of a like sport cruiser um, But this thing has some giddy-up still uh, even just being stocked it has the 117 Milwaukee 8 um, That's the main reason why I wanted the 2022 I could have got one cheaper a 21, but it didn't have uh, the 117 in it. So uh, I'm glad I went with this um, The other thing is the price point if you're looking at a 23 model uh, It's about a two thousand dollar difference between a Sportster S and a Lowrider S um, And that's the you know the manufacturer suggested retail price now you have other dealerships that may put fees on whatever um, but all in all it's almost about a two thousand dollar difference so you'll be paying more for a lowrider s but it's a bigger bike uh, someone like me six foot five i enjoy having a bigger bike um, don't get me wrong the sportster s was awesome uh, pretty pretty good price um, my biggest con concern and gripe, man, there's a lot of riders out today. My biggest concern and gripe was the fact that the aftermarket for the Sportster S is virtually non-existent. You have very limited options on what you can get versus a Lowrider S. You can, there's all kinds of options you can do. 
Um, so that was kind of my main reason for trading it. And, you know, I, I've already talked about that in, in the other video about why I traded it in. Uh, this main video is about me adding the forwards on this thing. Definitely way more comfortable. I would highly suggest getting them, whether you buy them from Harley or you get the ones off Amazon. Like I said, the link is going to be below. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Kind of cool. Up ahead, there's uh, the Blue Angels have like a sheriff escort here on I-4. Um, I saw about 12 cars, and they were all in there. I could tell they were Blue Angels by their uniform, and uh, Sun Fun's going on right now. So, looks like they're getting a special escort. But <laughs> these police, there's like five biker cops and four cop cars are just literally blocking off I-4 just to let them cruise around. But it's kind of cool. See, they're all way up there. That whole straight line is them. So cool little tidbit while I was shooting my video. Um, they're probably heading to the, the Sun and Fun Air Show. I think the Blue Angels fly at like 4 and it's currently 126, so wherever they're going. I wish I recorded sooner, I didn't know it was them, I thought it was like a funeral procession or something. But um, yeah, they're, uh, they're getting a whole sheriff escort here. Let's see if I can get a closer shot. You got two two cops dragging in the back here and um, a whole line of Blue Angel guys and it's probably the pilots and the crew and all that um, and then you got motorcycle cops that are they're zooming up to each exit to stop any cars from entering or exiting so it's kind of cool but yeah I'll, uh, I'll keep recording here to see if we can get any closer to get some good shots going Sorry, I'm not on I-4. I'm on 75, and then this is I-4 that we're getting onto now. So it looks like, yeah, they're all going east towards uh, where the airport is. But yeah, they're all the cars there with all their hazards on. It's all the Blue Angels crew and pilots. All right, thought I'd share it. Peace.